Hello beans, hello and welcome back to Ikidu Streams Create Above and Beyond And I'm being bullied by my ostriches I fancy the change from starting in the usual house So uh, instead we're chilling with my friendos Hi, hi there So, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday It is indeed a Wednesday Hang on, no. Hey baby it is a Wednesday, we are halfway through the week, halfway through the week! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, halfway through the week, not doing too shabby. Right. The purpose of this episode, my friends, my friends, my friends, is this. We have, officially, if I can get it, there we go, it's better. We have started here. We did this bit, and we did all this bit. Now, the alluring experience. Mm -hmm. So the chicken and the egg problem remains. In order to automate precision mechanisms for brass equipment more conveniently, having more grass, uh, brass, not grass, whoops, equipment would be really useful. Yes, yes, they're not lying. It would be really useful. After checking the, uh, or hitting the check mark above, the second chapter of the factory guide will become accessible from the quest sidebar. So we're going to beep that. Ta -da! And we're now over here. And if we come over here, we have this now here in our in our list of things. We didn't have this before. We have this now. This is chapter two. So, for those of you that were here last time, this will make a whole bunch of sense. For those of you that weren't here last time, this won't make a bunch of sense. But it's okay. We're gonna go through it step by step until we get to a point where we are comfortable and making it go very very well. So let's start up here. The automation target this time is the electron tube. Placing them onto connecting mechanisms will send you to the next tier. Happy inventing. Thank you. I'll take some tea. Why not? So, uh, 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 not part of the mechanism chain, yet very important for creating relevant machines using melters, fluid pipes and mechanical mixer. You can create a couple of different metal alloys. Brass is one of them. Pumping the molten alloy into a casting table or basin will solidify it into usable ingots. Ta-da! For less hassles, for manual effort, it is recommended to set up the ingot to ingot semi automation for the creating of alloys using the setup. And we're going to tick that. We don't really need to do anything with that because now we've got all this. We've got all this to play with. Mm -hmm. So all of this is our is our next bit of fun. So we're going to start at chapter one. We're going to start at the start. Are you ready for this? Hold on to your pants. All right, hold on to your pants. That's what I want to say. So we need to have sand. Kind of. So we need to make sand. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. We also need some water. We also need to go find one of the meteor sites so I can get some sky stone dust. We also need to automate the iron. Now I kind of admit that I sort of already did that. Uh, you really can't see that very well from there can you? Let's go over there. So I did automate the iron already, kind of, sort of, because, well, that's what one of the first things we did, because I knew that we would want to have a lot of iron on hand. So I've kind of already done that bit, actually, because that was this bit here. So I've got a cobblestone generator going over here into a millstone, going over here into a fan to wash it all. So kind of already done that, actually. So we actually come up here and say, well, we've kind of done that. Because, yes, no, no, the business is the iron generator. You'll now be creating metal from cobblestone. Mm-hmm. Start with some jewels hooked up to regenerating cobblestone block. We kind of already did that. Yes, thank you very much. If I grab a cobble block, it'll say, yes, you've done it. There we go. Ta -da! So that's that bit done. Because yeah, uh, this is one of the ones I wanted to get out of, the, out of the way really, really quickly so that I could have lots of iron. So the cobblestone first needs to be milled down into gravel. Well, yeah, I did that. That was this bit here. So it, it cobblestone generator into mill, which is down there. If I grab this, it will say that's completed. Check it back on there for now. So if I go back up here, ta -da, see? So we're already we're already taking off some stuff. Over here, washing the gravel with an encased fan will give you iron nuggets and flint. That's that bit here with the fan blowing on this guy. So if I click that and that, ta -da. so then I can come over here and say, ha, I have done that as well. Yaha. So we've already, look at that, we're already three points in. This is where it gets more complicated. 
Route the nuggets into your high temperature melting equipment. A melter from Tinker's Construct, for example. Now, you know what Tinks is because I've got it over there in my blacksmith building. That one. Because we've got my base, the blacksmith building, and the tapper's shack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we kind of we kind of have that, but it's over there. Not here. So we kind of, we will need to get that, that done as well. But for now, this is kind of working. So. Because that's later on. We don't need to. We don't need to stress too much. So yeah, because we need we need molten iron for the next bit. And I mean, to be fair, you don't really need to link it to it. This is like way at the end of the thingy. So first things first, really, I think, is let's go and find one of those um, gorgeous, gorgeous meteorites. Yeah. Gorgeous meteorites. So I think we marked one as well. So what you're looking for when you're looking for a meteorite site? If I can find it, let's see. There, that guy. So you're looking for something that is kind of like a circle on the map, with some black dots around it. That is what you want. So we're gonna go oh, that way. Da -da 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 -da! This is Skystone. This is your meteor, right? right? Here be meteors. So we're gonna scoop over here. For those of you wondering what the heck this is, this is the meteorite. This is the sky stone from Applied Energistics. It's actually really pretty. Like, isn't that nice for a lo like a block? Look at that. Pretty. So the cool thing about this, and I mean it's really cool, is I don't need to gather up a huge bunch because this stone, this rock, is actually pretty clever. It's actually pretty clever. So we're, you're, what we're going to do is we're going to take this sky stone back to the base in a second. And we're going to chuck it in another millstone, right? And we're going to grind it up. And you'd think that would use this item up. But it doesn't, because it's kind of magic. So you only ever need to gather as many as you need to gather, because, well, you never need to... You, like, it's never going to run out. So you could you could almost do this whole contraption with just 20 or 30, or even one, if you fancied being completely pernickety. You could probably do it with one. But uh, I like to have a decent supply like half a stack maybe just because then you're not really waiting too much for everything ba -da -ba -da -ba. That, two more because then I, I tend to do it in batches and shove it through the the millstone until you can get hold of the the plingificators that you need or the 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 flipper dt flippy things or the hand thingy it's kind of a pain to get it back up into the millstone i think it's a really kind of curious birds So, we have got the first item that we need for this whole contraption. Mm -hmm. This guy stone. This stuff. So we need to make it dust now, and the way to make it dust is to chuck it into either this or this. And as you can see from the recipe, you chuck sky stone in, you get out sky stone and dust. And then, so you can basically just chuck it in, make it do the thing, chuck that one back in and send it around in a little loop. And that's basically all we're going to do here with this. It's turn it into a little loop. So first things first, we need to get a millstone. So that guy. Because we don't have the big, nice, lovely crusher wheels yet. Yet. Trust me, it will happen. It will happen very, very soon. But for now, we need to do this. So I'm missing stone. This is why I didn't use all of my stone earlier. <laughs> Hadja. So we need two of those. You don't need to make two of those, but I like to have... A couple spare, so. Right, water wheel, water. And more water. Water wheel. Easy peasy. We now have power source. Ta -da! That's your first step. Second step. We want to connect it to our grindstone. So, I think we're going to go over here a little bit. Uh, seed Blah. so we want to connect it in such a way that we can get it out of it later as well so maybe we maybe we do this let's turn one of you up that way yeah and then if we go here with that perfect <laughs> oh pfft. hang on so now that's working. 
right? So if I take this sky stone and fling it for gate it in there, see the particles? It means it is doing the thing. Bam, bam, bam. So all we're going to do now is I'm going to pop a shoot on top of that because I don't want to stand here every time and chuck one in. So we're going to, uh, on top of that, there we go. Don't know why that went there. I swear it's just doing it on purpose now. And a barrel on top of that. And I'm going to chuck all of the sky stone in there so that then they're just kind of queued up to get in there. So that then when I come to do the rest of this, I can just take it from there and there. When you when you get brass um, the brass funnels, you can automate this bit a bit more, or use one of the grabby hands. But uh, for now, that'll do. Okay, so we've got that working. If I shift there, you can see now we've made one sky stone dust. Ah, look at that in my mitt, right there. And as it says on the on the tin, sky stone is now in my hand. So I just throw that round again so that it can do the thing. Yeah, it's that simple, guys. It's that simple. Right. So we've made that. Cool. Awesome. So, next step. In fact, hang on. We can actually tick the box. Never, ever forget to tick the box because that kind of makes you feel like, yeah, I've done a thing. Because we have. Woo, I've done a thing. Now, you'll notice here, I need to do this with it. So dissolving the strange reactive powder, the dust that we just made, in water creates a fun and useful liquid. Not really my definition of fun, but each to their own. However, you'll also notice here, you can't get to it yet because you, can, you haven't got the green line or the the open like red line there. You see that? That means I can do this next step. This one means I can't do this step yet because I need to do this first. So what we need to do is we need to get water. That needs to be in here somewhere because that mixed with the dust in here Will turn into something magical okay following i hope you're following make another hole on the other side so we can actually access this one because what we want to do is we want to step this guy up a lot a lot a lot so we're gonna go uh, is it big to little and then big to even more little perfect we're also then going to pop on a gearbox because that's going the wrong way. It'll make sense in a second. Boop! Because I want this cog facing that way. Wait. Wrong way. That way. There we go. Right. Pop the water tank over here somewhere. Probably here. Let's go there. Three, two, zero, zero, zero milli buckets. That's 32 buckets, basically, for layman's speak, of, of optional container space in here. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of water. We don't want this to stop, basically. We want it to just keep going. Should I have gone a little too big? Would that have made it faster, do you reckon? Don't know. Should we quickly see? Hang on. So if I pop this under here, uh, wrong way. Still wrong way. No. 256. I mean, that's going to be as fast as we can possibly get it, I think. So that'll do. Right. Okay, so you can see here I've popped the... Uh, so this is exactly the same twisty-turny thing as over there on our, on our tapper shack, right? So we've stepped it up. Big to little. Over to big to little. To gearbox. To cog. To that, right? If I now do that, you'll see that it's created a little kink there so it'll fill up my fluid tank because I'm going to fill this up with water. All we're going to do then is we're going to bring this over this way to get it into the water. There is a limit. This is why I'm breaking the sand rather than putting it all the way out into the middle of the ocean. Because there is a limit to the amount of distance you can pull. I'm not entirely sure what that distance is. I feel like it's 32 or 64. I'd have to double check for you. But it's it isn't it isn't forever. And just to go down, you right click it underneath to connect it underneath. That is now working. And if we go like this, you can get some nice little windows in your pipes. So you can actually see what's going on, which I kinda like. So 
All we need to do now is turn this uh, that away and wait a mo. And you'll see. And you get even like little water particles that say, hey, there's a thing happening here. And you'll see. What do you mean there's a leak? Uh, what do you mean there's a leak? There's no leak. <sighs> oh, it just bullies me. Do you see that? The game bullies me. So now we have got water coming in at quite a decent pace. I mean, that's it's been going for, for less than a minute and it's already like a quarter of the way up, coming up to a half the way up. So it's it's uh, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It was a bit janky over here with the with the cogs and stuff, but it's pretty good. Yes, right. So now we can say officially, if we go up here, water supply, yaha, I done. So we've now started all of these guys, kinda. I mean, you only need this briefly. So this is all started now, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, I didn't actually use the hose pulley in the end. Oh, derp. Derp. I mean, you can do it without using the hose pulley, but the hose pulley's cool as well. Well, we'll use it again in something else. We'll just pop up on here for now. You can use the hose pulley. The basically the idea with the hose pulley is you can use the the tube to go down rather than these. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> derp. Okay. So we've got the sky stone dust going on. It's still going. It takes a moment for the sky stone dust to to really get grounded. Grounded. Ground? Grinded? Ground. I'm going to go with ground. Maybe it's grounded. Ah, uh, either way. We now want to combine this with this. That with that. And, we, and the way to do that is... Do you remember that over there with the whiskificators? Yep. Exactly the same thing. I now want to connect this. Hip. Oops, wrong way around. There you go. Lovely. I'm going to turn it the other way because I don't want it pumping for now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pop a basin here. And you can see it's connected because you've got the little orange bit there. And all we're going to do is we're going to go here because you go diagonal on the big ones. Which means it's going at some speed but not the... F in fact, no, actually it's matching the speed because that'll be that same for cog. Right. Where did the put? There we go. And like casing. Gearbox. Give all that back. Because then we want to turn it up the other way, probably. Do we? Yeah, probably. Hang on. Right. Let's pop the whisk over the bucket first, and we'll see where we need to get to. Okay. So that needs to connect to that. Yeah. Which means I need itty bitty cogs of doom. We also need to connect that to that. But that's that's we'll do one at a time first. Hopefully it's also one step up. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we do go the other option. Maybe we do come up here, like that. Although that one's not going as fast as that one. Which is a bit of a pity. <laughs> Ugh, why does this always have to be janky? Why can't it be nice? Huh? Why can't it just be nice? Although actually, I don't know why I can't just make it part of the, um... Part of the water wheel. That kind of works, doesn't it, guys? Is it creating enough zzz? It doesn't say it's not. One way to find out. Right, so we need to connect that down there now. So, doo -doo -doo, pick up the box. Oh, no, but, uh, sir, no. Not quite. <laughs> oh, really? My cogs tonight apparently are not going to play games with me. And then there. And then there. 
Hey, we've overstressed it. Do da, do da. There you go. Hip, hip. Up and up. Ta-da! And one more for good luck. Or because it needs it. Or both. Maybe good luck. Hup, hup. And two. Lovely. Right. Cog and... Hmm? Itty bitty thingies. Rip, rip, rip. I've got fat fingers tonight, peeps. And I built it slightly off centre. But that's fine. Nobody knows any different. <laughs> really? Behave. Right. So he is now pumping or pulling the water that we are pulling into that tank. All we need to do is turn that around. And you'll see the water goes along here and into the basin. You'll see the basin filling up there. Slowly but surely. And we've barely used any energy from the uh, from the thingy. So we probably could have just kept it at one speed. But uh, maybe we could take out that bigger cog there and just take it to that little one. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. But that's now filled up. Right. Here's where things get a bit complicated. So this here, the mechanical pump that we've been using so far, that guy will pull the um pull whatever it is that you so I'm gonna nick that for now. So do 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 do, do. let's say we do this now and, and so I am going to take my skystone dust that I've created just now. Right? Pop that back in there. So this is my skystone dust, I'm gonna chuck it in there. Uh so there you go. Chuck it in there. It'll do the wizificate. And what will happen now is you'll see the, the particles have changed a little bit. They're now black. There. That is now the volatile sky solution. Which is exactly what you want. So if I suck that up, I now have the volatile sky solution. Right? So this pump here that we've been using, the mechanical pump, does not like sense or detect what kind of liquid is in here so if i was still mixing the water and the sky stone block um it might not pull the sky stone solution into the next container it might just pull water and leave the sky stone in here i don't want that because i want water in here and i want sky stone solution in there and not vice versa <laughs> i want sky stone solution over there I want water over there and that creates a problem that problem is solved by one of the other copper machines so you remember how i said we can have um different kinds of pipes we're going to use that here so two logs to make the two copper casings which should get four of so there we go lovely and then if we go copper casing with the sealed mechanism around the outside around the outside around the outside copper machine cool lovely so we've got the copper machine what we're going to do is we're going to take it and pop it into the stone cutter again but this time we're not making the hose pulley we are making the smart fluid pipe the smart fluid pipe is slightly different from the other fluid pipe this mechanical pump here in that you can tell it what to stop or suck or do right so we're going to make two of those you get two for the price of one because it's kind of expensive. So we're going to pop that in there for now. And I'll go show you the difference. Do, 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 do. I'm going to make some more tanks of this. This will probably be the last bit that we do tonight, but um, I don't want to go too fast and lose y'all. So, and also because I'm not feeling too fantastic myself still. <laughs> I've been really suffering at work lately. Hi. So, I want to take from here to here Hurry up. oh dear no hang on the pipes can be a bit finackety you kind of got to get them in the right place there you go that's better right and then i'm going to take one of my cogs and one of my shafts and just connect it to this because that's 
kind of already doing what I needed to do. Right, so you'll notice now, that's on. Right. Now, I want it to only take the the sky solution that we just take, created, the volatile sky solution, right? If I turn this on now, it will move the volatile sky solution. Lovely jubbly. But, if I tried to move it, let's turn that around for two seconds, and it was like still creating water at the time, it would suck up the water, and then the sky solution would get stuck in here. That's not what we want, okay? We need to tell it to just suck the, the, the liquid that we want from this basin. Because the next step, rip, 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 is we're going to combine this sky solution with another solution. And you don't want the three different types. It's not like the, the smell tree that can hold three different types of, of um, melted ore at once. It's, it's, it's finickety. It only wants one type. So we're going to take the smart fluid pipe and attach it there. Right? And we're going to take our bucket and slurp it up and right click on the marker there. Right? So now, you'll see, it didn't take the bucket from me, because I just put that back in there. It didn't take the bucket from me, but it's in that there now. So if I turn this around again, it will only allow the sky solution through. Seeds! <laughs> It'll only allow the sky solution through. It won't let the water through. So if I ever stop chucking sky solution in here why is it not filling up again with water so. you have water in there hmm. that's a bit weird isn't it hmm. I need to make some more of those to be fair Hopefully. There you go. It's on again. I need to make a, a few more buckets. So now you'll see, the water's getting in there. If I didn't have that bucket on the smart fluid pipe, it would be trying to pour the water into here and it would be giving me issues. This is something I struggled with really, really, like, honestly, the first time I did this. I, I couldn't figure out how to do it and I, had, I did it all by hand because I, I couldn't figure it out genuinely learn to use these guys and and it'll make your life so much easier the smart fluid pipe is what allows you to um filter what you want to come through the same way that i want to use the brass funnels to filter what i allow through that's exactly what this will do well, i hope that uh i hope you had a, a good good uh stream a good evening with me uh finishing up a little bit early because i got everything that i needed to get done done so I'm not gonna um, uh, draw it out or whatever. I could go on on a bit of a mining mission, but uh, I am also cream crackered knackered. So uh, I shall probably call it there. We'll end up in the bed. Uh, I can hear a zombie outside. Sir. Oh, do you see him? Do we see him? Wait. Uh. Get off my box. Rude. Rude. Thank you. Honestly. The neighbours around here are a bit naff. A bit naff. Honestly. Look at that. He's out there. I see him. I see you. I see you. Get off my lawn. Oh well. Right. As I was saying, before being so rudely interrupted by the zombie. Thank you all for coming along and watching me tonight. I will see you on Friday for more adventures on the chapter 2 as we start digging into uh, making some more crystals and getting all of that guys mixed up to turn into the little electron tube. But in the meantime, I shall love you and leave you. I hope you will have a wonderful rest of the week and I will see you soon. Good night and goodbye.